हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 11.20 चैप्टर 11 प्रोटोडायनेमिक मशीनरी फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकॉन्की दिस प्रॉब्लम इज अबाउट द सेंट्रीफ्यूगल कंप्रेसर a centrifugal compressor running at 16,000 revolution per minute takes in air at 17 degree centigrade and compresses it through a pressure ratio of 4 with an isentropic efficiency of 82%. The blades are radially inclined and the slip factor is 0.85. Guide vanes at inlet give the air an angle of free world of 20 degree to the axial direction take the mean diameter of the impeller i as 200 millimeter and the absolute air velocity at inlet is 120 meter per second calculate the impeller tip diameter so first of all we will write the given data we have given that centrifugal compressor is running at 16,000 revolution per minute. So, the compressor speed is 16,000 rpm revolution per minute. So, also temperature T1 is 17 degree centigrade. Pressure ratio P2 by P1 is given which is 4, isentropic efficiency is given for the compressor which is 82% are 0.82, blades are radially inclined so for radially inclined we have this velocity triangle, here are 3 configuration of centrifugal compressors one is radially inclined second is forward inclined and third is backward inclined so this configuration is radially inclined and slip factor sf for this type of compressor is 0.85 also angle of pre wall represented by alpha i suppose so the value of alpha i is 20 degree and this is the angle of pre world here represented in the velocity triangle at inlet the mean diameter of the impeller that is represented by small d and it is 200 millimeter or it is 0 0.2 meter also the absolute velocity of air that is cai at inlet is 120 meter per second we have to find only one thing in this problem and that is to calculate the impeller tip diameter represented by capital D. So in this problem we are only asked to find this impeller tip diameter represented by capital D. So here slip factor is defined as the ratio of CWE dash to the velocity which is CWE and further it has the expression of CWE dash by CBE where this is the blade speed at exit and CFE is the flow velocity at exit and beta E is the blade angle at exit. Similarly the expression for power input is m dot into CBE CWE dash minus CBI where CBI is the blade speed at inlet 
CWI is the blade is the world velocity at inlet so this is the power input if we are interested to write the expression for specific work input so in that case this m dot will disappear and only the expression cbe cwe dash minus cbi cwi will only here so now first of all we are going to find the missing parameters in this problem and that is first of all we have to find the temperature t2s so temperature t2s is equal to t1 into p2 by p1 power gamma minus 1 by gamma where the value of gamma is 1.4 we know that this is the adiabatic index r it is the ratio of specific heat capacities and it has a value of 1.4 for air so putting the values t1 is 17 degree c converting it into kel1 we will get 290 kel1 so this will become 290 into p2 by p1 ratio is given which is 4 gamma minus 1, 1 1.4 minus 1 is 0.4 and gamma value is 1.4 so simplifying this the value of T2 is comes out 430.94 kel1 also to find the value of T2 we can use the expression of isentropic efficiency so in that case t2 will be equal to t1 plus t2 is minus t1 by isentropic efficiency so here we we will find the value of t2 t1 is 290 kel1 plus t2 is is 430 Point nine four minus T one is two ninety divided by the isentropic efficiency value is zero point eight two. So simplifying this, the value of T two comes out, which is four sixty one point eight nine kel one. Further, the difference of temperatures which is represented by delta T, it is equal to T2 minus T1, T2 is 461.89 kel1 while T1 is 290 kel1. So here the difference comes out 171.88 kel1 further to find the specific power specific power or specific work input for that we have the expression that is equal to cp into delta t cp for air is 1.0 0 0.05 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin this is the value of cp for air so putting this 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin into the value of delta t is 171.88 so simplifying this the specific work input is equal to 172.74 kilojoule per kilogram further 
we can also find the specific power from the velocity diagrams velocity diagrams both are given here this one velocity triangle is the velocity triangle at inlet of the centrifugal compressor and this is the velocity triangle at exit of the centrifugal compressor for radially inclined configuration this is blade speed velocity at inlet while CRI is the relative velocity at inlet with respect to the blade and this is the absolute velocity at inlet and CWI is the world velocity at inlet similarly CBE is the blade velocity at exit, CA is the absolute velocity at exit, CRE is the relative velocity at exit, CWE is the world velocity at exit, while due to slip factor its value decreases and that is represented by C dash WER CWE dash and this is also the world velocity while considering the slip phenomena. So further now we are interested to find the terms in velocity triangle first of all the blade velocity at inlet from the given conditions will be equal to CVI is equal to pi dn by 60. This d is basically small d, this is the impeller i diameter, mean diameter, so its value is given pi 200 millimeter or 0.2 meter, while the value of n is given, that is uh, the value of n is 16,000 revolution per minute divided by 60 to get the value in per second. So the value of blade velocity at inlet comes out 167.55 meter per second. Further, uh, to find the CWI value that is the world velocity at inlet, for that from the figure velocity triangle we see that it is equal to CAI sine alpha i, where alpha i is basically the angle of free world. So CAI is unknown to us and it is 120 meter per second. Also alpha I is given, it is 20 degree. So simplifying this, we get the value of CWI which is 41.04 meter per second. Also to find the value of CBE that is the blade velocity at exit for that again we have the expression pi d n by 60 where this d is the ampere tip diameter and we are interested to find the value of this d this is unknown basically so putting the values pi d is unknown n is known which is 16000 revolution per minute divided by 60 so simplifying this uh, we get the value which is 837.76 d so in terms of d we get the value of blade velocity at exit and this blade velocity at exit from the velocity triangle it is very clear that it is equal to CWE from this velocity triangle. So we can say that the value of CBE is equal to CWE. CBE is equal to CWE and it is equal to 837.76 D in terms of D. CBE and CWE are 837.76 D. So further now to find the specific work input from this velocity triangles. 
so we have specific power input equal to CBE into CWE into slip factor is defined above minus CBI into CWI. So putting the values CBE is known and it is 837.76 times D. CWE is known again it has same values so it will become square. Slip factor is given and it is 0.85 minus. CBI is given calculated 167.5 5 5 CWI is calculated which is 41.04 meter per second so this specific power input must be equal to the above specific power input which is has the value of 172.74 kilojoule per kilogram so we can equate both of them and it is equal to 172 point from the above figure 172.74 kilojoule per kilogram so from this only here the value of d is unknown remaining things have the values so solving this for d the value of d comes out 0.5 Four nine meter and also in millimeter it has the value of 549 millimeter so we have asked that to find the impeller tip diameter so this is the required tip diameter which is 549 millimeter. So this is the required solution of problem 11.20. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment on my videos. Also subscribe my channel to get new videos.